Okay, so our comprehension skills this week are main idea and details, and then also text structure. And we've talked about text structure before in science class, okay? So that's gonna be pretty much nothing new to you. That's just kind of a refresher. But main idea and details, I'm sure you've heard of it before and I'm sure you've done stuff with it, but um, this is the first time we're actually talking about it. So um, what we're gonna do is we're going to look at main, like on page 140 on the slide presentation, I have uh, those two pages for you. So on page 140, we're gonna read about main idea and details and how to find that in the book and um, how to figure out what your main idea would be. And then we're also going to talk about that text structure. Okay, and then we will go on and um, read that Sunday Ranger story and kind of work on the skills with that. Okay, so um, let's look at our comprehension skill right now. I want you to follow along as we read. Main idea and details. So the topic is what a paragraph part of an article or a whole article is about. So the topic of the story is what the article or this writing that you're reading is about. The most important thing an author has to say about the topic is the main idea. Okay, so the main idea is what the whole thing is about. Okay, it's um, the most important thing the author has to say. The pieces of information that tell more about the main idea are the supporting details. Okay, so um, these details, these supporting details do help support the main idea in the story. So it really has something to do with that main idea, but it's just the small details with it. Um, use the graphic organizer to summarize main idea and supporting details as you read, send a ranger, and we will do that too. So the main idea is what the story is really about, so the bulk of the story, and then the supporting details is kind of just um, supporting that main idea a little bit more. So kind of going more into depth with it. Um, as, far, as far as text structure goes, those are, it's going to talk about like the headings and in your text and um, underlined words and looking for those sequencing words. So headings we learned about in science tells us what that paragraph is going to be. So if you see that um, the heading or the title, it tells you what that's going to be about, right? So by using those, you can really have a clue of what you're going to be reading. Let's read um, what text structure is though. Understanding the way text is organized can help you understand what you are reading. So a lot of the times it can help you understand what you're going to be reading. Before you read, preview the text and look for features such as titles, headings, underlined words, and clue words, words that show cause and effect, sequence, or compare and contrast to help you know what to expect. So before you read your text, you should look at the title. So this one's called Send a Ranger. Well, I'm sure just by the title that it's gonna be something about a ranger. Um, and then it also says look for those sequenced words, so those first, next, then finally. Compare and contrast words, so like, like, um, this is like this, or um, similar to this, okay, so maybe those kind of words. And cause and effect, so because this happened, this happened, okay? So you look for those key words in your stories whenever you're reading them and you can kind of get a good idea of what your story is going to be about a little bit more. Okay, so we are going to do the main idea in detail as we read Send a Ranger. What I want you to do now is read Send a Ranger by yourself, so pause the video. Read that by yourself and then unpause the video and we'll read it together. Okay, you should have read Send a Ranger by yourself. And now we're going to read it one time together and then we're going to um, read it kind of slowly again a little bit. So send a ranger. The job of a ranger is made up of many different jobs. Park rangers are like police officers. They make sure people obey the rules of the park. Park rangers are like teachers. They take people on nature walks and tell them about important places in our history. Park rangers are also like scientists. They keep track of information about plants and animals. Park rangers are like firefighters. They keep close watch to help put a stop to forest fires. Park rangers are like rescue workers. They hunt for people who are lost or hurt. 
so they have a lot of jobs, don't they? Yes, the job of a park ranger is made up of many different jobs. In fact, Stephen Mather, the first director of the National Parks Service, has said, if a trail is to be blazed, send a ranger. If an animal is floundering in the snow, send a ranger. If a bear is in a hotel, send a ranger. If a fire threatens a forest, send a ranger. And if someone is to be saved, send a ranger. Does this sound like fun to you? Maybe you would like to be a park ranger. Okay, so the first thing I wanna do is look at the main idea and details of this story. So what is the main idea of this story? It says the, the job of a park ranger is made up of many different jobs. Park rangers are like police officers. They make sure people obey the rules of the park. Park rangers are like teachers. They take part on, they take people on nature walks and tell them about important places in our history. Okay, so what is this story really about? What is it telling us about? So it's telling us about park rangers, right? What about park rangers? What should, what is the, the uh, main idea of this story? Well, if you look at the first sentence, it says, the job of a ranger is made up of many different jobs. Okay, I think that's our main idea of this story. The job of a ranger is made of many different jobs. The whole story talks about all the jobs that the, the park ranger's made up of, right? Or what he all does. And he has a lot of different jobs, doesn't he? So our main idea would be the very first sentence. And again, it repeats it in that second paragraph. It says, yes, the job of a park ranger is made up of many different jobs. So that would be our uh, main idea. The job of a park ranger the job of a park ranger is made up of many different oops, different jobs. Okay, so the job of a park ranger is made up of many different jobs. That would be our main idea. So I'm going to put a box around this one. But we also need those supporting details from our text. So we have the main idea from the text. The job of a park ranger is made up of many different jobs. That is our main idea. That's what our text is about, right? But now we need our supporting details, and that's just supporting what we said or what the author said is our main idea. So how can we support that the job of a park ranger is made up of many different jobs? How can we support that by using evidence from the text? Well, we can say, um, what's the first thing that it says? Park rangers are like police officers. They make sure people obey the rules in the park. So we could put that one as, our, as one of our supporting details. I'm gonna put this one in green. So we kind of have different colors putting different things, okay? So this is our main idea. Black is our main idea. Green is our supporting detail. So what did I say? Um, they make sure people obey the rules of the park. So we put that. They make sure people obey the rules and then I can put like a police officer okay so that's one of my supporting details see how this detail really does support this main idea that the job of a park ranger is made up of many jobs well, one of the jobs it's made up of is being a police officer, basically, because they make sure people obey the rules. So what's another job that a park ranger consists of? Park rangers are like teachers. They take people on nature walks and tell them about important places in our history. So um, that could be another one. They take... people 
on nature walks. And what did it say? I need to go back to my book. See how I'm refer referencing back to and pulling that evidence from my book. They take people on nature walks and tell them about important places in our history. So if you tell them about important places in, should probably back up so you can see that, our history. Okay, um, and then we can put like a teacher. So that could be another supporting detail that we have. Okay, that's one of our supporting details because it supports the idea that the job of a park ranger is made up of many different jobs. Well, we just gave another job that it's made up of. So what's another job? If I wanted three supporting details, what's another thing that I could put? Well, the next one says, park rangers are like scientists. They keep track of information about plants and animals. So that could be my other one. Um, let me kneel down so maybe you can read this. They uh, keep track of information about plants and animals. like a scientist because that's our next supporting detail and we wouldn't have to stop at three we could have even more than that what's another supporting detail we could have so we have those three up there I'm not going to write any more up there but another supporting detail could be let me I'm going to try to get out of the way of that and still have me in this video okay Okay, so another supporting detail we could have um, if we keep reading. So park rangers are like scientists. They keep track of information about plants and animals. Park rangers are like firefighters even. They keep close watch to help, a, to help put a stop to forest fires. So that could be one of our other supporting details. It supports the fact that a job of a park ranger is made up of many different jobs. Park ranger is also like a firefighter. That's the other job that it's, made, that it's made up of. Park rangers are like rescue workers. They hunt for people who are lost or hurt. That could also be a supporting detail that helps support our main idea. So see how that main idea is what the whole story is talking about. And those supporting details help, I guess, support that main idea. So it helps to um, back up that main idea. Okay, so it's a little bit more detail detailed those details are it's a little bit more um, going a little bit more into it but that main idea is kind of summarizing the whole thing okay it's not a summary make sure it's not a summary but it is kind of what the main topic of the story is about okay so now that we have main idea and detail kind of figured out I want to just go over these skills and some of them might ask us some of the same questions but um, we're going to read this over one more time and then we're going to go over the skills and we'll probably stop in the middle to review those skills so send a ranger the job of a ranger is made up of many different jobs park rangers are like police officers they make sure people obey the rules of the park park rangers are like teachers they take people on nature walks and tell them about important places in our history park rangers are like scientists they keep track of information about plants and animals. Park rangers are like firefighters. They keep close watch to help put a stop to forest fires. Park rangers are like rescue workers. 
They hunt for people who are lost or hurt. So our skill, our first skill says summarize the details you learned about a ranger's job. Summarize the main idea of the paragraph. So we know basically what that paragraph is telling us is that, look at our main idea. The job of a park ranger is made up of many different jobs. That's what that whole paragraph was about, wasn't it? Yeah. So that's the main idea of our paragraph. It says, yes, the job of a park ranger is made up of many different jobs. So it repeats that main idea again. Why do you think the author restated the sentence from earlier? Why do you think he restated that? Is it a clue about what the main idea is? Do you think he's trying to give us a clue about what the main idea is? Yeah, maybe he's just trying to um, get us to think again. Yeah, a park ranger has many different jobs. It, his job consists of many different jobs. Okay, and he's repeating that main idea again. In fact, Stephen Mather, the first director of the National Park Service has said, if a trail is to be blazed, send a ranger. If an animal is to be floundered, floundering in the snow, send a ranger. If a bear is in a hotel, send a ranger. If a fire threatens a forest, send a ranger. And if someone is to be saved, send a ranger. So that again tells us everything that a ranger does. So we could even use those in our supporting, as our supporting details. We could say um, that rangers help stop forest fires. We could say um, rangers help save people who are in danger, okay? So we could have those be our supporting details too because it supports the fact that the job of a ranger is made up of many different jobs. It supports that. Does this sound like a fun job to you? Maybe you would like to be a park ranger, okay? Can you find a comparison the author uses to describe the job of a ranger? How does he, just, how does he compare, um, or what does he compare the job of a ranger to? He compares the job to a ranger, he, he compares the job of a ranger to many different things, doesn't he? He compares it to that of a police officer. He compares it to that of a scientist, of a teacher, of a firefighter, of, um, of a rescue worker. So he compares uh, the job of a park ranger to a lot of different things. And he says, it's like, it's like, it's like. Remember looking at that text structure, trying to identify those words for comparing and contrasting? Well, he's comparing a lot here. So we looked for those words and we know that's what it's gonna do. So he's comparing. Okay, so now that we have main idea and details and text structure, kind of figured out this time, this will help us as we read our story, Letters from Yosemite, or Letters Home from Yosemite. Um, and we will practice more main idea and details throughout the week. So Wednesday, I'm gonna have you read the story again on your own and you'll just practice finding the main idea and details of the story. And then Thursday we'll practice it too, okay? So tomorrow we're gonna be actually reading our story. But today, just continue on with the slide presentation and um, make sure you have all your work completed. So read everything, watch all the videos, and just make sure you're doing everything.